This video is going to cover the use of revision clouds. I've found with my own clients that this often causes confusion, this particular command. Drawing clouds are used to bubble up areas that we want to draw attention to, particularly where revisions have been made to drawings which have been previously issued. Revision cloud we'll find over here. And you'll see as I begin to draw, it draws a very messy little cloud. And this is where the confusion comes in. Let me start that again explain how we'll do it properly. Click on cloud. Look down in the command line now and you can see that we have a setting of a minimum arc length of 15 millimeters or 15 units. A maximum arc length of 15 as well. I'm working in decimal and I'm working in units of millimeters which means each AutoCAD unit is equal to one millimeter. So 15 is relatively small. It's about the size of a thumbnail just a slightly over. I want to adjust that to something a lot thicker. The thickness of these walls, for example, is probably around 350 millimeters. So I'm going to want arcs of my cloud which are going to be of a fairly similar size. You'll notice that we have some options here. There's arc length which we can adjust. If you're working on an older option, you'll need to type A for arc length and enter. On the newer versions, these are clickable links. So I'll click on arc length and I'm going to try something like, let's say, 250 for a minimum and I'll use the same for the maximum. Click for the cloud and just move the cursor you don't need to keep your finger down on the button and as I approach the end point you'll see it closes. And I think that cloud looks fine. We'll try one on the door here, we'll just adjust it to a slightly smaller size. Go down to arc length this time I'll choose 200 and again for the maximum and that's it done. So the key to getting these done well is adjusting those arc sizes. We also have an option of converting objects. So for example I could draw a rectangle to convert into a cloud. Go for the cloud command and you'll notice an object button at the bottom. If I click on object select the object just following the prompts here. It does offer me the option of reversing the direction. In this case I'm going to say no. And that's the cloud done. So you've got a choice between drawing one freehand or converting another object. And I hope that's helpful for all those who've been struggling with clouds.